Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick review of the RAC Ultimate Care Washing Kit, which I bought from BNM for £25. So, in the kit, you get this. So, this is what the packaging looks like. So, that's what the packaging looks like. So, you get a alloy wheel brush, not a particularly big brush, but good enough to get in between your wheels get one of these squeegees for drying off your car not really sure how good that will be in all the on all the gaps but we'll give it a go you get this little adapter which you connect to the end of the telescopic brush which you can then connect your hose to you can also control the the flow of water which goes through the hose so you've got off low and high and of course you get the brush itself so this is what the brush looks like so it's quite a chunky looking brush, probably at least two or three inches worth of bristles in depth. Put that to one side. So you also get a soap dispenser which you can put in the top and of course it's telescopic so you can undo this pad and it goes up to 67 inches. So you can see quite a reasonable reach. Just to them back up. So it's a combination of metal and plastic. So you get these foam grips. Unfortunately, they do move around. So if you do grab them, they will move around. Of course, you get the end adapter. So you can either connect this to the hose pipe or you can just dip it in a bucket of soapy water if you want to. So this end piece, just move around. So this piece connects to this. So you screw that on. Again, this is just a plastic attachment, so I'm not kind of sure how durable it will be. And then of course you just connect your hose pipe to the end. So like I said, you can put soap in this part here, so you can pull this plug out. It just stays in, in, in with this little plastic tab. And you've got to make sure this little metal tab matches up with the pins inside so once you push that back down you can twist it I don't know if you can see inside there's a mechanism inside which moves around so that's the off position and if you turn that on soap will come out of there so I thought when I first bought this I thought the, the angle of the head was a bit strange but you can actually adjust the angle of the head by undoing this so if you undo this, you can take it off. You can see it's a square, a square piece of plastic. So you can you can either put it on sideways like that, so it looks like that, or you can put it on the other way. So that's a normal way. So you can put it up like that. Again, just do it up. So I think that angle is probably better for doing your cares and things like windows rather than the other way I think the other way the angle is a bit too steep I think the, the other angle is more for doing the tops of car roofs rather than that, that way yeah, I, I think that, that angle is a bit too steep I think that's good for the top of the roofs of the cars but I'd have it the other way round for doing just the side of the car so let's connect the hose pipe up to it. Okay, so I've got one of these flexible lightweight hoses to use and uh, the one of the brass uh, connectors on the hose actually broke a few weeks ago and I had to make a makeshift one. So what I did find with the brass connectors on my flexible hose that they don't actually fit properly on this one. They don't actually lock into place. I think the actual plastic around here is slightly too thick. You can actually remove this and replace it with another one if you want to, but I, the brass fitting on, on my particular hose wouldn't fit on this, so you can see it doesn't lock into place, but the, the plastic ones fit on fine. So just bear that in mind, you might find that your brass connector might be a little bit too small to fit around this bit here. So this one 
the plastic one works fine. Just lock that into place and that, that, that's on fine. So. so next step, I'm gonna connect it to the water supply and show you what it's like. Okay, I've now connected it to the hose pipe and turned on the water so you can see it looks something like this. So I can now use the adjustment valve to increase or decrease the flow. So you can see it just comes out in one big jet. So I think you could just wash your entire car like that, providing you know you're not on a water meter, you could just leave it on all the time and probably not e even use any soap. So you can see. So that's pretty good, and, and of course you get the soap dispenser, so you can put any kind of soap in here if you want to. I'm just going to put again. Make sure the plug matches up and it goes all the way in. So. Turn it to the left and it's off and turn it or turn it clockwise and it turns on. So I'm gonna kind of show you that now. So you can see that water flows into the chamber and soapy water comes out. So let's give it a quick go. So I'm gonna try it on the windows rather than the car. So next step is to clean the windows. Okay, let's give this thing a go on the windows. So you can adjust and turn up the water flow if you need to. And I can shut up the soap if I want to. Okay, so that's just a very quick demonstration. So I would say the only major downside is, is that you may need to keep on adjusting the head to get to certain angles of your car or your windows and another thing is it is quite heavy and if you do use just like a normal traditional hose rather than a flexible hose it will be even heavier so overall the build quality is reasonable i don't know how long these kind of plastic connectors will last but hopefully it should last a couple of years anyway so overall for 25 pound not a bad piece of kit so that's it thanks for watching